Ladies and gentlemen, we have done the math. It's no secret anymore. Austria is in the lead. And it's no longer possible for any other country to catch up. We are ready to announce the winner. The winner is Austria! De Oostenrijkse Consita Woerstwam dit jaar met Rise Like a Phoenix het Eurovisie Songfestival. Wat deed ook Tom Neuwert toen hij enkele jaren terug als de diva met een baard gereest die het hokjes denken wil doorbreken. Al van jongs af aan droomde de kleine Tom om ooit eens op het podium te gaan staan van het Eurovisie Songfestival. Dat vertelde Conchita in januari al in een interview met Gay Life. I used to watch it with my mom as far as I can remember. She is a, a huge fan of Eurovision and so I became one too. And I didn't know a long time actually that my, my most favorite singer of all time, Celine Dion, won in 1988. And 1988 was my year of birth. So I think that's a magical connection. Yeah. What did the Austrians react uh, when, when they heard that you will, would, would represent them on, on your song festival? Oh, some of them uh, liked it <laughs> and some of them not that much. But you know, I'm used to that, and um, I'm happy that there are some people, you know, standing by my side and, and cheering for me. And so I, I'm, I'm more like a person. I focus on the good things. So I'm, I'm very okay. happy that everybody, everybody in my mind <laughs> <laughs> loved it. If you could browse through your iPod, what kind of music would we find in it? Oh, this is so cliche. <laughs> it is Cher on it, there's Tina Turner on it, of course, Lady Gaga, Beyonce, oh my, she's just out of this world. And, you know, I love strong women and strong women's voices, so I'm, I'm really, I'm really about, you know, all this Hollywood glamour and hair and fabulously dressing. And, yeah, this, this would be my iPod yeah. favorite list. Yeah. Uh then international world history as the first uh, transsexual uh, artist you're obviously a lot more afraid to think about uh, outside the box uh, what kind of responses do you expect in copenhagen oh that? Um, i hope that i hope that i got the chance i get the chance to to spread my message because of course i'm a musician and i want to sing on this stage but on the other hand i really try to fight for more tolerance and more acceptance because I think at the end of the day for me everything is about freedom that the, the people they you know they uh, they have they are free about their way of life and everybody should just you know dress however they want be whoever they want to be you know as long as they are not hurting anybody and I think this is this is such an important thing especially nowadays to show the Europe in better way the world that there are people who are different and, and not less important than the others. Yeah. Do you want to be a spokesperson for the LGBT community? Well you know I try I try I, I don't I don't call myself a role model or something like that and just try to to speak up for my people and because of this little fame I, I got so I do just what I can to to give maybe a few people a voice. Yeah. Some countries even threatened to pull out of the Eurovision uh, contest. What, what do you think about their reaction? Actually I don't really care about that because I said before I, I really focus on the good things in life and you know there's everywhere negativity out there and I don't I don't really pay too much attention to it because I think if you think positive positive things gonna happen and uh, that's why of course I heard about it of course I'm you know at the internet and, and, and the social media of course I heard it but I don't really I don't really care and the decision is made I, I gonna I'm gonna sing at Eurovision so sorry about that yeah let's talk a little bit about your life before you, you became Conchita <laughs> Uh, when did you notice that you were different than other boys? Oh, I think yeah, as far as I can remember. You know, I think everybody would agree on that, that when I say you just feel it that there is something, that you are a bit different than the other kids in your, in your class or something. And this was the same with me. And being a teenager is a very tough time. So I, I, I 
as far as I can remember, I, I really tried to fit in and I changed myself in every way you can imagine to just, you know, be part of the whole group. And this never really worked out. So at the end of the day, I decided I just want to have a fabulous life. <laughs> and I, I created this bearded lady to stand up for a few people to say, be brave. And, you know, you, you just have one life do whatever you want with it and everything is fine if you're happy. Yeah, Is Conchita happier in, in her skin than Tom was or is? On stage, yeah, on stage, of course. It's, it's on, on the one side there is this message which um, I really want to, to shout out and on the other hand there's just this, this costume and it's so much fun for me, you know, dressing up and doing the makeup and, and try different things. And I feel more comfortable on stage. And I think that's that's a very common thing because you have Lady Gaga and in her private life, she's Stephanie and you got Sasha Fierce and in her private life, it's Beyonce. And I really understand that because you, you are a different person on stage and this just helps me to, to push it to the limit. So when I, Think about them. Tom is still Tom with, with trading pants on and, and, and a beer at home. Or? Yeah, yeah. He's. I'm always. I always say I'm a, a very hardworking queen and a very lazy boy at home. And actually, it is like that because you know I got the shimmer and the shine and the events and all that stuff. And Tom is at home doing laundry. And this is this is just so nice, you know, these both things in life because this normal life I have as a private person it just grounded me so much the last years and I think that's just the best way for me to to stay focused and 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 do every part uh, in the best way I can you're uh, you, you've got a very unique look with a beard uh, what's what's that all about well actually it's not that unique because in no. America I got a few sisters with beards <laughs> so but I think here in middle Europe I'm, I'm I think there are two more um, this is for me a message to get attention and also the way here with the cap you know the people looked in the window and saw me and for me it would be a little goal if they go home to their families and they tell them you know what I saw today a bearded lady and they start talking about being different and what there's what's outside the box you mm. know and this would be a little goal for me to just start talking you know they don't have to love it but I think acceptance and tolerance is very a very big topic for me and I think this is you know where do you see yourself ending in the your song festival oh my god we, I we think you, you're gonna win we think you're gonna win <laughs> don't but say you that don't, don't. oh no pressure um, <laughs> uh, I don't know you know of course we all want to win of course but this is just this, this dream but um you, you must not forget about this whole thing around it. You know, as we talk, there's a dress, you know, and, and there's this, this huge event. We, we are singing in front of, of 300 million people or something mm -hmm. with television and, and live audience. So this is just beyond and this is such a great opportunity for a musician to represent himself as first. And uh, so I, I don't know. I, I just try to give the best that I can. Yeah. The, the, do you write your own songs, uh, except the, the Eurovision song then? Oh. Or, 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 or do you have a team of writers for you? I have a team of writers and producers, which uh, they are my close friends. So this is a very, very, you know, very close combination and a very emotional one. So I'm, I'm very deeply involved into the songwriting process. but. I'm not that talented and actually patient enough to write a song because, you know, I'm like, I do it once and that's it. <laughs> but songwriting is, is such a long process. And I, I, if I'm honest, I have a tough time sitting next to them and deciding which line we're going to take and how do we sing it. And yeah, but I'm, I'm growing into it. What can we expect from you in, let's say, five, ten years? Where, where, oh. where do you see yourself? Hopefully then? I got a Grammy till then. <laughs> we will see. I don't know. I, I want to, you know, I want to, I want to be bigger in Europe and, and hopefully start also in America and, 
you know, a little Las Vegas show like yeah, Britney Spears. Like, this would be great. Like Celine <laughs> Dion, she, yeah, she, she, she did it her own show. Yeah, yeah. A big show. But you're mine.